stand with us as we open worship to the Lord.
system, but our society is trying their very hardest to undercut what God has created and to tell you men that you are not who God says you are. The world is trying to tell you it doesn't matter, nobody's really listening to you anyways, you're just an idiot. And God is saying, no, I have set you to be the leader of your household, to hold up the standard of Jesus Christ in strength and to lead your families. Fathers, do you understand the power that you hold when you encourage and affirm your kids? Do you understand the weight that that 
that carries above and beyond what the voices out there are saying to your kids? And husbands, do you understand the weight and the power that your words of encouragement and affirmation are to your wife? When you love your wife as Christ has loved the church, do you understand that that overrides all of the negative things that are hurled at women every day? Amen. Men, you have been set in a place. You have been anointed and called by God to be strength in your families. And our society right now, we need you bad. Amen. We need fathers. We need Christian Amen. men to stand up and be counted. So we want to encourage you today. And today we get to play a special song. I'm kind of chuckling inside because uh, this is actually a song that Mitch Vestal and I co-wrote. And uh, it's a little bit testosterone infused. And when we wrote it, we just could not think of a, a name for the song. So for lack of a better title, we decided to call it the man worship song. So fathers, this goes out to you today and God bless you.
Heavenly Father. Thank you that we can come to this place and worship you and call you Father. And Lord, I, I want to begin, I, I miss Father's Day, I want to begin by, by celebrating. I want to begin by us celebrating the young man who came to know you as his Savior and Lord last service. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your salvation. Thank you, Father. And Father, I, we pray for our, our earthly fathers. I pray for the, the men in this room. I pray, Lord, that you would continue to encourage them and draw them to your truth. I pray that your Holy Spirit would fall upon them fresh and hard. I pray, Father, that you would call them to that place of being, being a man, a, a leader who leads his family in the truth. I pray that you would call them to a place of wisdom, that they would seek the truth, that they would seek clarity from one source and one source only, and that's you. And I pray, Father, that you would give them not only wisdom and clarity, but Father, I pray upon all of these dads, I pray that you would give them courage to be fathers when it's not easy to be a father. I pray, Father, that they would not only receive the blessing that you have for them, but I pray that they would receive the anointing that you have for them, that you're anointing upon them what you have called them to be, that that Father would lead and direct their lives. We pray this in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I want to encourage everybody that you don't have to leave here unsure about where you stand with God. You can leave here so sure that you are going to spend eternity with Jesus. Does God send people to hell? John 3.16 says, For God so loved the whole world that he gave his one, his only son, and whoever believes in Jesus will not perish eternally, but they will have everlasting life. And in the book of Micah, it says, Our God is a God who removes the sins of his people, and mercy has triumphed over judgment. See, today the beauty of grace is that we don't get what we deserve. Jesus has already taken that and paid it. So today we get to be receivers of an amazing grace. Would you stand with us as we respond this morning?